For 10 days in August, West Virginia's natural beauty comes to life more than ever before, as wildflowers deliver their peak time of bloom. And because of this, a festival known as Peak of the Bloom was created to honor such a beautiful time of year. Frank was telling us about these bags of bird seed that he was gifted, and he thought to himself, hmm, what if I sowed these seeds, and what if I do it in a remote area of the forest that most people never get a chance to see? And what it yielded was these amazing fields of wild sunflowers. And so he told us about that, and he said, and when they're in the peak of their bloom, and we were like, Frank, stop, right there. And after seeing this dazzling field of sunflowers at Camp Creek State Park that was sparked by one idea by the former superintendent of the park, Frank Ratcliffe, contributors of downtown Princeton's Grassroot District came up with another idea, blending recreation and culture together. Well, Peak of the Bloom is a celebration of the art of nature, and the idea is to cross-pollinate um, the cultural district and the grassroots district and all the creative businesses and artists there with their beautiful public lands here at Camp Creek State Park. And so 10 days of celebrating the beautiful nature that we're so lucky to be surrounded by. The 10-day festival begins at the park with guided tours and other activities centered around doing just that, celebrating the art of nature. A picnic in the park catered by Bucha Brewhouse and Bistro mostly rounds off the celebration there, only to be followed by other activities throughout the week in the Mercer Street Grassroot District of Princeton. When people come in to visit or people that are moving in are just blown away by this area. And, you know, we have our thriving downtown district with all these wonderful creative businesses and so many artists and creative people, and they all love this nature so much. And forging this partnership with Camp Creek State Park is important to us to, so that we can really just embody all that is beautiful and attractive about our area. In Mercer County, Katherine Skeldon, Newswatch.